And our own report, Omar Abdelaywar, will shed light over the timeline of the Russia-Ukraine tensions, which become now a military action. Hello, dear viewers, and thanks for joining us. To understand the root of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, we shall dive into a timeline that delineates the issue. The issue. First of all, on November 2021, satellite imagery shows a new buildup of Russian troops on the border with Ukraine. And Kiev says Moscow has mobilized 100,000 soldiers along with tanks and other military hardware. On December 2021, U.S. President Joe Biden warns Russia of extensive Western economic sanctions if it invades Ukraine. In the 7th of the same month, Russia presents detailed security demands to the West, which included the seize of NATO's all military activity in Eastern Europe and Ukraine. On January 2022, U.S. and Russian officials meet in Geneva for diplomatic talks. NATO puts forces on standby and reinforces its military presence in Eastern Europe in the same month. Right after that, Washington presents a written response to Russian security demands days before the U.S. and Russia pull over the Ukrainian crisis at a special closed session of the U.N. Security Council. On February 2022, French President Emmanuel Macron met Putin for marathon talks in Moscow. While the Pentagon orders an additional 3,000 U.S. soldiers to be sent to Poland to reassure allies. Meanwhile, a number of countries called upon their citizens to, ha to leave Ukraine. Putin recognized two breakaway regions in eastern Ukraine, Dantes and Luhansk, as independent entities and then orders Russian troops to maintain peace there. Biden announces what calls the first tranche of sanctions against Russia, including steps to starve the country of financing. Ukraine's parliament votes to approve a national state of emergency in response to the threat of Russia. Finally, on February 24, 2022, President Vladimir Putin announced a military operation in Ukraine saying that its goal to protect the people who suffered from genocide and abuse from the Kiev regime, while, or while he demanded the neighboring country's army lay down its weapons. That's, all, that's it for me now. Back to the news studio.